Hiya! Hello, interwebs! Welcome back to Let's Play Rainswept. My name's Skinny Mini. Last episode, we examined the crime scene. We looked at their bedroom to kind of get a little bit more information about uh, Chris and Diane, and we found out that they met December 31st. And it was a cute little moment flashback that we got to see, which was really nice. And uh, we had a little um, uh, freak out again, which I think the I tried to look at the clips like frame by frame. And it seemed like they were like on a date and fireworks or something. Uh, Chris and Diane were, I think. Um, so yeah, now we're sitting in the cafe talking to, oh god, talking to Officer Blunt um, to figure out what's going on. So. Um, Really? Oh yeah, she's like, what happened? Um, I was looking under the bed. <laughs> I, uh, looking under the bed for clues. Oh, and what did you find? Um, seriously, I don't know why you won't talk- why you won't talk about it. <sighs> anyway, uh, we'll sit here a while. Any more of this and you're going straight to the doctor. Got it? Mm. Yeah. Well, tell me something. What? I don't know about your life back home. How's it like? Work back there? How different is it from all this? It's a completely different world. There's always something to work on. The station is always full of life and noise. I like that. It can get a bit crazy at times, but it's great if you can handle it. I've been thinking about moving to a bigger station someday. I mean, the idea of handling bigger cases, being in the thick of it all, it sounds exciting. It sounds like the kind of thing I'd want to do. I'd like to do. I'm not sure if I'd be able to handle it, though. Just this one case, it's affecting me. Emotionally. Oh, interesting. Um, I think she can do it, because I feel like... <sighs> I feel like you can use your emotions in a positive way, that way they don't interfere. Um, but then again, I've never... I've never been a cop or a person in law enforcement, so I don't know. But I think she can do it. I think you're capable, officer. It's only been about a day, but I know you'd be able to, to more than just handle it. In fact, I think you do very well. Wow, you really think so? Absolutely. Thanks, detective, but... I also worry about the people I leave behind here. My mother, she lives with me. I feel it would be selfish of me to just leave, and there's so many other people here that depend on me. Hey, detective, uh, feeling better yet? The small town air getting to you? You look really cheery, Ryan. You gotta see what I found. I'll get us a coffee. Detective, you should sit. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, let's get a coffee, then. Let's get a coffee. Hey, Mark, can I get a coffee? Hello, Detective. Oh, hello, Detective. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm alright. It's good that you came came here. A cup of coffee will fix you up nicely. How many will it be? Three, it would seem. Thanks, Mark. <clears throat> Say, do you know anyone called Brad by any chance? See him around with Chris and Diane, maybe? Possibly back when they first moved in. Hmm, I don't think so. I don't recall seeing them with anyone else, especially anyone from outside Pineview. All right, anyway. All right, anyway, thanks for the coffee, Mark. Take care, Detective. Take that coffee! Get the coffee. Gotta get back to the table before it gets cold. <gasps> okay, here we go. <laughs> Here's the coffee. Here's... Hello? Hello? Oh, jeez. I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Alright, so what did you want to show us? So, their mail just came in. Chris and Diane's. And there's a couple things in here that you might find interesting. There's bills, of course. Nothing suspicious about those. Then we've got two tickets. One way to... Madagascar. Madagascar. Mad yes! Madagascar! How'd you know? That's amazing! Uh, yes, anyway. Two tickets, one way to Madagascar. They were to leave this Sunday. That would be four days from now. We might want to call up the travel agency and ask them about it. Uh, yes, I'll do that. This is very useful. 
thanks. Oh no, that's not all. Officer Blunt says this one here will make you particularly happy. Chris and Diane received an invitation for a wedding. Someone named Emily's getting married to a guy named Brad. Yep, there's also a phone number there. Do you think we should call him for a talk? Yes, call him. Call Brad and Emily. Nope. I've given Brad a call. He says he should be able to make it here tomorrow. Perfect. The autopsy results will be here ready. Will also be ready by tomorrow. So it looks like that's it for today. See you tomorrow, officer. Take care, detective. And I mean it. <laughs> Game saved. Awesome. Oh, maybe I should have ended the episode there. Um. Okay, so let's take a look at our journal. Jack's. What is this? Okay, whatever. Um. So Chris and Diane's bedroom. Chris, Diane, and blank. Financial calculations, planning for something big, hotel, Madagascar, Antarctica, Ukraine, four and five. So these are the places that they want to go. Um, talk about issues. Could they patiently, no sacrifices, talk about it and discuss what needs work. Analyzing everything, annoying. Yeah, that sounded like Chris. I hope that was right. Um, Mr. Mrs. Brown. Okay, so I don't know what that is. It's hard to look at the actual um, journal because <sighs> because like it it feel like it spoils me with certain things like I don't know what that picture was with Jack's car. Um, way to the hotel. There we go. Oh wait, no. I gotta do this. Go to the hotel. Going in the hotel. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, let's see. Oh, oh, I can talk to this dude. Hey! You okay? Oh, detective, uh, maybe you can help me. How good are you with words? Um, actually... Perfect, I'm kind of stuck with the lyrics of this song. What goes with... It goes... With a smile across my face, I sigh. We're only here in the for the blink of an eye. Clouds float, blend with the sky, drunken dreams. Oh. Ooh. Drunken dreams leave me high and dry. That sounds sad. Uh, drunken dreams of you and I. Drunken dreams will never fly. Drunken dreams help me get by. Drunken dreams of apple pie. <laughs> Do I love a good apple pie? Um... Hmm. So, I'm I'm a hopeless romantic, so I like dreams of you and I as pretty. Drunken dreams of you and I. That sounds perfect, simple, but this is what I like to say. I don't even need to spend time fixing this. Maybe I'll ask for your help again. All right, now leave me be. I need to focus. Uh, thanks, by the way. Um, where would you say you were on the 6th of October? What? You're really asking me that? It's kind of what I'm in Pineview for, you know? I was traveling. I- oh, wait. I think I have proof right here. See these? My boarding pass from my last flight. Has a date and my name and everything. Right. I'll be back if I need anything else. Of course, of course. Thanks for the help. Sweet. Well, that was cute. I have a feeling that's gonna come into play later. Oh, I'm so scared to make any, like, mistakes. Oof. I didn't get to explore the rest of the hotel because I straight up talked to her. Hey! Wait, was that the bushes? Wait, what's this? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go in. Oh. How do I... Hello? Oh, I can't talk to him yet? Ma Mrs. Br Hello? Okay. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Stone. I hope your stay has been pleasant so far. I mean, as pleasant as it can possibly be considering the horrible, tragic circumstances. Uh, it's- it's- the room is really cozy. The room in the hotel is really warm and cozy. Oh, do you think so? 
I'm really glad to hear that. My husband and I, this is what we wanted to create. A warm, safe place to rest. Somewhere people feel like they can let go of all their worries. Hmm. How long have you guys been running the hotel? How long have you been in charge of this hotel, Mrs. Patterson? My husband built the hotel when we were in our 20s. We've been here ever since. About 30 years now. He's from Pineview. He met me when he was out traveling for work. I fell in love with this place and the way of life here, and I haven't regretted moving here even once. Where is Mr. Patterson? If you don't mind me asking, where is your husband at the moment? Oh, my husband, he's bedridden, unfortunately. He had an accident a year back, and he can't move about, about by himself. He's still got the spirit, though. And he makes all the decisions regarding this place. Now the execution and lay work remains mine, of course. I'm happy to do it. I love this hotel, and I love him. Aww. Oh, did you know Chris and Diane? We did meet them a couple of times. They seem like lovely people, the two of them. I don't know what the rumors are all about. Chris wanted to start a hotel here, too. Do you know anything about that? Yes, he even met my husband once to talk about all that. We were happy to help them out. We know how difficult it can be started with something like that. Yeah, I was about to say, they're not worried about competition? You weren't worried about them competing with your hotel? Oh, no. It's been many years since all our mortgages and debts were paid off, and we've been comfortable since then. We get a couple of regular guests every so often, and that's enough to keep things running. Now, the hotel is just a hobby. We don't do it for the money. That's good. I'm sorry, Mrs. Patterson, but I, I must ask you. Where were you around midnight on the day of the shootings? Oh, I was here, of course. This hotel can't run without me, you know? And of course, there's dozens of people, staff, guests that could confirm that. Midnight, though, I'd be in bed with my husband. All right, Mrs. Patterson. Thank you for your time. No problem, Detective. Happy to be of help. Can I talk to you now? No? Dang it! Okay, sure. But I can talk to him, though, soon. Ooh, I can go over here? What's over here? Oh, dang it. Never mind. A boundary wall! <laughs> dang! Okay, let's go inside. <clears throat> Are we gonna have another nightmare? Jeez. I could really use a long, warm bath right now. Okay, so let's, let's get changed. Uh, actually, yeah, let's get changed. Uh, let's get in our pajamas. Let's go to the bathroom. Oh, oh, a bath will set me straight. Okay, maybe? I'm scared. My mind keeps wandering back to her. Why? Why can't I? The case. Think about the case. Brad. We'll meet him tomorrow. Wonder what he can tell us. Chris and Brad studied together, I think. Ugh! Is... Is there no escape? Okay, so that's not... I thought it was Chris and Diane. It's actually maybe the flashback he's experiencing. That's scary. Um. Golly. It's raining. Should I go to sleep now? Oh, I should probably turn the lights off. <laughs> Not sure what else there is to do, but... Okay, sure. Let's turn off the lights. There you go. That's better. Nope. I don't... I don't need it. Still beautiful! <laughs> you stop... Put the freaking cigarette away. Go to bed. Yes. Ugh, no nightmares, no nightmares today, I hope. Yeah, me too. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Whoa, what is music? No, 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 oh god. Okay, well. Jeez, that's trippy. I don't know why, but this part reminds me of 
Hotline Miami for some reason. It can't be. What in the world? What do I do? Oh no, oh no. Oh my god, am I looping? Can I... Oh, I'm looping. But that... Oh no. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm dreaming. Things are upside down. No, no, no! What's happening? It can't be. Oh my gosh. I'm just looping. I want to see if that pole moves then. No? This is weird. Oh my goodness. How do I- can I jump? I can't jump. Can't jump! There we go. Ah! No! Do I press buttons? Wake up, wake up, wake up! I keep pressing! Oh my god, that's freaky. Uh-oh. Let me turn my audio down. Ah! No! Not this again! Oh, I'm sorry, doggy. I scared my dog. Oh god. Abigail! I thought I meant more than the world to you. Come with me. You know you should. I want to. I keep thinking about it. There's nothing left for you in that world. I'll forgive you if you come. I... Just let go of all of this. You'll be so much happier. What? <laughs> what? What is happening? Is the game over? Did I go with her? Ugh. My head. So bright in here. Officer Blunt will be waiting in the cafe. I should go meet her. Oh, sweet. Game save. Oh, man. Yeah, it's not- we can keep going. It's fine. Let's get changed. Let's- let's put on some nice clothes. Uh... Let's put on some casual clothes. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, or maybe formal. Let's look nice. Let's look, let's look real nice. Alright, exit. Let's look professional. Hmm, should I leave? Yes. Yeah, I got about another, like, 15 minutes. Good morning, detective. I got a couple of tasks lined up for today. Brad is in Pineview, so we can have a talk with him. Dr. Martinez has also informed me that the autopsy report is ready. Hmm, let's, uh... Ooh, what should we do first? Um... Uh... Wait, have I had my coffee? I need more coffee. <laughs> I think I need more coffee. Would you like some? Uh, no, I'm good. Hey, dude. I'm gonna get the coffee first. Maybe I can give it to him this time. Hello, detective. What do you need? There's just a cup of coffee. It's the same thing. Ah. <sighs> Start my day. Here you go. How are you feeling today? Sleep do you any good? A little better, I guess. A lot of people that visit Pineview have said that coming here was just one of the most rejuvenating experiences of their lives. The peace, the mountain air, the fresh coffee. It's no surprise Pineview has that effect on people. Well, here's hoping, Mark. Or here's hoping. Thanks, Mark. Get the coffee! <coughs> oh my god. Hey, you, you want my coffee? <laughs> I feel like it'd be nice. Uh... Good morning. Ah, back again? Any new answers from the tea today? The answer is the same, obviously. No, I'm just admiring the beauty. This is so much more fun when it rains. The smell of rain adds so much to it. Pet Petrichor. Uh, what'd you call me? Petrichor. That's what the smell of rain is called. Really? That's what the smell of rain is called? Hold on. I gotta look this up. 
Uh, hold up. <laughs> oh, petricor. Oh, God. A pleasant smell that frequently accompanies the first rain after a long period of warm, dry weather. That is really neat. I didn't know there was a word for that. Huh, you learn something new every day. Okay. Detective. Oh, wow. You've blown my mind. That is so beautiful. Petricor. I think I need to think this over. I need some time with this. Wow. Well, I'll be seeing you. That was actually kind of cool. I learned something. Thanks, video games. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We should discuss the case. What have we got so far? Well, not much more than we had what we had yesterday. We know that we only recently ha they had planned to go for a vacation together. Did something change that? Uh, check the autopsy report. Let's meet Dr. Martinez, see what the autopsy report can tell us. All right, we can head to the hospital. Shall we leave now? Uh... Hold on, change my mind. Can I? Mm. Let's see, we interview Brad. If Brad's already here, we should we should go and talk to him. Um I don't know if we should talk to Brad or let me see. Dog. Um Alright, we can head to the station. Shall we leave now? Uh yeah, let's go. Let's go talk to Brad. Yeah, let's not waste any more time. All right, lead the way. Ow. Oof, it's really chilly today. It gets cold here when it rains. It was raining all night yesterday. Brad! Whoa! Hey, you okay, man? Uh, yeah, just... just got spooked. What a jerk. He was clearly driving beyond the speed limit. Oh, my photos! Uh, don't worry, I'll get them for you. Here's one. Got that. Got that. Wasn't there four of them? Oh, yeah, there's over here. Found one. Get doggy, excuse me. Hey, buddy. Can I have that photograph? I, I don't want to damage the photo by snatching it. I guess I'll have to make a trade. Hmm, what does a pup like to eat? Uh. Okay. Oh my god, can you not talk about the cat? I mean, they they can. Uh. Oh god, why am I running into a tree? Is there anything that's Lady, shut up. Okay. Um. Is there anything? Like a bone or something? No? Okay, here. Wait. Who's this? Uh. Who would have, like, a bone or something? I thought there would be, like, a. Like. Maybe, like, a, a trash or something. Oh, well, I can't get in there. I, I feel like if I talk to him, I'll give him the photos, but there's, like, one more. Uh, sh How do you know? How do you know I'm collapsing? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, sorry. Uh, Mark, what do you... Can you help me out? Hey, Mark, do you have a bone or something that I could give to that pup over there? Need the photo from it, eh? Hmm. I actually just dumped all that tra all that in the trash can outside. I'll have to dumpster dive. Sorry, detective. I don't have anything else in that cafe right now. <sighs> All right. Thanks, Mark. Is this the trash kit? Yeah. It's better work. Got it. That was easy. Hey, go, buddy. Here, boy. Look what I got. Here you go. Not interested, huh? Can't say I blame you. I wouldn't chew on it either. Really? Would you like something sweet, maybe? Oh, maybe Grandpa has something. Grandpa! Grandpa, you got something? <laughs> Grandpa! Hi, Grandpa. Who? 
I'd like to buy one of your donuts. Seriously? Why are you so surprised? I thought you'd never eat them. Actually, I need to give it to a dog. You see, the dog's got something I need. You want to give my donuts to a dog? Come on, Grandpa. I need help. I'll come back and eat your donuts some other time. Promise. Meh. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> Here's some biscuits instead. I don't think donuts are good for dogs. Good. I'm glad they, they mentioned that. Awesome. Thanks, Gramps. Ooh! God, Gramps. Dang it. Didn't you guys walk five million t Never mind. It's fine. It's, it's video game. I gotta remember that. Hey, buddy. You want some doggy treats? Not you. Here, you want biscuits? Here, here's some biscuits. Hey, you want some of this, boy? Oh, you like this, huh? Right, your focus is on the donut, and I'll take that photo. Got it. That's all of them, I think. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, hello. What is this car doing outside his house? Hold on. 11, 35, 23, 8, 26, 96. Interesting. Jack's car. Why is he, he said he didn't really know them. Why is he out there with them? That's suspicious. Super sus. That's very interesting. Press A to exit. Okay. I should ask Johnny what he knows about this picture. Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, Lord. Uh. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right. Johnny, did you take this photograph? Uh, yes, I did. Is that... Isn't that Jack's car? Uh, yeah, a nice car, isn't it? I was just passing by that day and, and it looked... Did you see anything else? See anything? No, I just took the photo and... Did you see anyone? Jack, Diane, Chris? No, Chris wasn't there that day. His car wasn't. I didn't... I think Diane and Jack were in the house, but what? Johnny, can I keep this photo? It, it, it'll really help us out. I think so. I've got the negative, so I could just make another copy. Do you think you may have any other photos like this that could help us? Um, not really. I don't know which photograph would be helpful to you. Hmm. Uh, can I have a look at the others? The others? I don't have any more here. They're all up in my room at home. They're all up... Yeah, that's right. All right. Johnny, can you tell me... Uh, oh, sweet. Okay, where were you on the night of the shootings? Where were you on the night of the shootings? I was at home with Granny. I think I was home by nine or so. You can ask her about it. Did you know Chris and Diane at all? Not really. I knew what everyone else said did. They, uh... They would fight a lot. They weren't very friendly with the rest of us. Have you noticed anything unusual lately? Unusual? Nothing, really. New faces in town, perhaps? Well, there is that Anav fellow. He, uh, he's here on holiday. Stays in the same hotel as you. But I think he came here after that night, so I don't know. Alright, thanks for your help, Johnny. Officer, we've got work to do. Uh... Okay, we haven't done anything with Johnny yet, but... That's that photo, Jack's car. Okay. Hold on, let me check something. Uh, no forced entry. Uh, what date was it again? October 7th, okay. In August, I think the picture had August... 26th, yeah, that's right, so... Either they were having an affair, doing something together. We don't know. But that's a theory. A relationship theory. Um. Shoot, where are you supposed to go again? Meet Brad, Sheriff's Department, check autopsy report. Okay. Um. The hospital's over here. Alright, rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, play that adventurous game? Not yet. 
Seriously, it's got like the best graphics ever. <laughs> the colors, the animations. Actually, I think I'm in the mood for something more open. Why can't you make up your mind? Dude, dang. Okay, well. Let him play. Let people play games the way they want to. Dang. Why you gotta make it all. Oh. This is the way to the hospital. <laughs> Calm down, Danny. Jeez. God dang it. Alright. Oh, game saved. Perfect. Well, then I think that is a perfect place to stop. Um, yeah, in the next episode, we'll check out that autopsy report. Uh, excuse you. Rude. And then you. You love gaming. Anyway, um, yeah, that'll definitely do it for this episode. So in the next episode, we'll check out the autopsy report and see what we can and hopefully talk to Brad. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm enjoying this little mystery. It's nice giving me all the information a little bit at a time and find a little backstory about, about us as our character. Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying this game. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Who do you think did it? And please, no spoilers or, uh, hints. That would be appreciated. Thank you. Um, and yeah, if you like it, leave a comment, leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, I do. Have a great day.